So to recap, we know that if the grid goes down, the three most important things to have would be your water, your fire, and your sea salt. And in that order exactly, you can only last three days without water. So water is by far the most important. So we all, we're gonna go by, we already have those three things. And so we started getting prepared for the grid to go down. So now let's talk about five other things that you will need to survive. I mean, you're gonna have to eat. And we don't know if the grid goes down, it may go down for a week, it may go down for a month, it may go down for a year, depending how long it would take to get it back up. So one of the main items would be beans. Any, any kind of beans, well pinto beans is really, really good for you. Um, they're high in protein and they, um, they store very well. If you take the oxygen, if you take them out of this bag and put them in a container with the oxygen pulled out of that container, they'll last up to 10 years. So this is something that you could have that you're gonna need your water for, your, your fire for, and your salt for. And so this is, uh, this would be my first thing I have. And then rice. Rice is gonna be very important. It is also good that carbohydrates give you the energy this will last as well 10 years if you take the oxygen out. Um, and so um, beans and rice, you hear that a lot, but that is really true. You can live a long time with beans and rice. And then you have canned meats. Now the shelf life on canned meats is approximately two years. I wouldn't eat these in the normal life, um, in my normal life, but um, they're a good source of protein. And these could be very, very beneficial in the event that you don't have any food. So you have like Spam and you have these little Vienna sausages. Um, my favorite would probably be the tuna. Um, and, the, and this is good until September of 2026. So it has a really long um, span, lifespan to it. Um, and this is really good in protein. This has... Mm, 17 grams of protein. So that's a real good source of protein. And then one of my other favorite things would be peanut butter. I love me some peanut butter. So peanut butter is also, um, it. this is good until, well, this says 2025, June. So I, I would look for one that had the longest date possible. Um, but this is an excellent source of protein. This has eight grams per two tablespoons of protein, which is what you're gonna need. So these are five things that I would highly recommend to stock up in the event that we lose power.